Welcome everybody, just come out for a quick camp overnight. I'm in Wales, it's a nearly wild camping site. It's not actually wild camping, paid for this tonight, £12 a night. You can have buyers, do what you want basically. I'll put the links up here of the campsite. Absolutely amazing place. So I've come out here today, I've just finished work, it's a Sunday. So I thought, yeah, I'll come out, we'll have a Tarpon um, hammock camp tonight. So I've got food with me, got firewood with me. You can't cut any trees down here. Um, it's winter, so there's not a lot of blossom on the trees, not a lot of leaves. You don't want any trees cutting down, so you can buy your firewood from the house. It's £10 for a basket. And I brought a little bit myself and there's also some firewood already here. I have come to here once, uh, twice before actually. Absolutely brilliant. So it's now coming on for four o'clock. I've got about 20 minutes to get camp set up before last night. Looks like the weather's going to come in. It's quite a chill factor there. My ears are freezing. So it's going to get cold, so I need to get this tarp set up pretty sharpish. I need to get the campfire lit. There's actual stones here, so you can you can build your campfire where you want, but there's already stone pits, so I'm going to go with the one that's here. And then we're going to, once we've got the camp set up, we're all covered, then we'll get on with some cooking. But first of all, I've got to get this tarp up before it gets dark. I'll catch you in a minute. Go flex tail air. Right guys, 20 to 6. Got the fire going nicely. Building up some nice embers. It's nice and warm now. There's a little bit of a breeze behind but nothing much. I think it's beer o'clock, don't you? Of a... Uh, right. I've got a Phantom 5 Northern Breweries 6.5% Cheers everyone So, I've got the fire going, building up some coals and then I've got this beautiful 
wild pheasant to cook up. We're going to let the coals burn down and then we're going to get the old stow, um grill on top of it and I'm just going to grill it. I'm going to put some of my special sauce that you've seen me make before. I'm going to put that onto it. It'd probably take about half an hour to an hour. We're just going to do it really, really slowly. So yeah, I'm going to let them die down and then we'll get food on the go. I'm starving hungry. Amic, you've seen me set up. I've got the uh, reflective sheet on it which is really a windscreen protector but it does an amazing job I've got the blow up mattress that I always use a pommelly I think it's called uh, the British Army sleeping bag which will keep me cosy and the hammock which is just I've had this for ages um, not quite sure what it's called. There you go. It is the Coverture. Really cheap hammock, but sorry, turn it off. Really cheap hammock, but I've had it for years. It does the job. I've got two of them. They're actually double hammocks, but me and the wife have tried sleeping in this and it's very cramped. So yeah, getting a bit of a draft from behind but get a bit close to the fire in a minute when I set up the proper chair. Just sat on the backpack chair. You've seen me use that as well. Just a backpack with a foldable chair with it. I use it a lot for cooking videos because it's ideal. You've got the chair and the backpack with you. So yeah, we're going to like I say, let the coals burn down a bit, get a bit of warmth, um, and then we'll start cooking. I think it's that time people. Time for a chill out and a vape. Didn't think I was going to get out today actually. I booked the campsite at the last minute. Like I can say it's a campsite but it's really is wild camping. In fact, it got even wilder because in the last storm that they had, the um, the water for the toilet blocks blew down. So there's no toilets, there's no fresh water. Well, there might be fresh water. But I brought me in anyway, brought a gallon of fresh water in with me. So yeah, it's as wild as it can get. The only good thing about this, not the only good thing, but the good thing about this is the fact it really is wild. And apart from that bloody dog yapping, uh, it's so peaceful. And for 12 quid, why take the risk of wild camping in other places? I mean, I understand, I do do wild camping, but this is just so relaxed because I can do what I want here. I can have fires, put my hammock up, I could have put a tent up, I brought a tent with me. So I could have put it up if the weather was really bad. But yeah, you can just do everything you want. It's a fantastic place. Like I say, I'll put exactly where it is and the contact details for this place. People are absolutely amazing. Can't do enough for you. You do have to buy firewood, but that's not a bad thing. You know, it is all proper firewood. And, you know, trees have been cut down. But not from here, because it's quite sparse, the woodland. 
although there's loads of places to put up your hammocks, tents, and the guy that, well, the son of the guy that owns it told me they're going to build some bushcraft shelters into the ground. You know, like low down shelters so people can just arrive and use them. So, yeah, I think I'll come back for that sort of experience. I'm the only person here. I've been here before in summer and it's been absolutely rammed. Uh, uh, no, it hasn't been absolutely rammed. There's a proper campsite just over the road which belongs to the same company, uh, family. Um, so yeah, you can come do proper camping with toilet blocks. I think they've got some like camping huts here. It's middle of nowhere. I don't think I've even got a phone signal. It's, I think they call it um, dark skies or something where there's no light from anywhere around here. So it really is desolate, brilliant place. Like I say, yeah, you can, I've used this campfire because it was here, but they wouldn't mind if you moved that 100 metres back into a bit of woods that's never been used and lit another fire as long as you tidy it up after yourself. With this campfire tomorrow I won't tidy it up because I'll just leave it for somebody else to use. It's got bricks around it that, uh, sorry, stone around it that, to keep the fire safe. So yeah, I'm really enjoying this. It's a Sunday night, I should really be at home not doing anything but I've been working all day, all day yesterday, got sodden wet through yesterday, ended up not being able to get here because it was too dark by the time I finished work so they put me in a five star hotel with meals, breakfast this morning, absolutely beautiful place and then they said oh we'll put you up again tonight if you want and I went Nah, it's alright, I finished at 2 o'clock, finished the work I have to do. So now I'm off while camping. You all looked at me like I'm a nutter. Turned down the five star hotel for camping in the bivvy bag. Uh, hammock. But I wouldn't have been this relaxed. I wouldn't have been there having a fire. I wouldn't be there sit there with a beer in front of the fire. Ooh. So yeah, chilling out. <coughs> Guys, it's um Half past six, twenty-five to seven-ish. <sighs> Clairvoyance beer, uh, six point seven percent. Let's get it open. Coal still haven't burnt down yet. Oh, lovely. Mm, smells very fruity. Nice and chilled. Yeah, I'm just waiting for these coals to still burn down. It's uh, getting a bit nippy. Not too bad in front of this beautiful fire. I've got myself a little pokey stick. I've got to have a pokey. Yeah, these coals are. These coals are getting there. So I thought I'd open another beer, just my right, these are burning down. It shouldn't be too long now. 
So that's ready. I'm nice and toasty. Got the wrap jacket on under this jacket because I didn't want to get spark holes yeah, uh, where the sparks are landed on you off the fire, burn a hole in me wrap jacket. So I put this jacket over the top of it. Yeah, it's lovely and warm. Padded out my seat, I've got a sit pad and I've got a uh, cotton sheet underneath, cotton blanket sort of thing underneath. Just keep the old backside warm. But yeah, just really chilling when we're here. Cheers. I think about another 20 minutes the coals should be enough to start cooking the pheasant on. I've been wearing these seal skin gloves tonight. They're just oh, they're brilliant gloves. Not so good for handling the fire, I wouldn't use them. I brought some proper leather fire gloves with me for that. But just for sitting here, yeah, keeps you nice and warm. Can't I? believe how amazing it is tonight with I thought it's gonna be raining and wind but there's nothing. It's just really really peaceful. You can't see anything at all. It's total black all around you. Because um like I say it's like a dark sky place. I forgot the proper name of it, I'll put it up here, whatever they call it properly. But yeah, just amazing. I'm just chilling out with my own campfire, nobody else about. Be getting up quite early tomorrow. Um, obviously I'll need the light really to pack up properly. Hopefully the weather will keep off. I can't get a phone signal so I can't tell you what the weather's going to be like tomorrow. Um, but yeah, that's not a bad thing. Because I can't get a phone signal, no one can give me hassle. So, we'll just have to see what the weather gives us tomorrow. I could just not bother eating and fall asleep, get in bed and just chill out till tomorrow so yeah anyway gonna let this um, fire burn down to coals do the pheasant we'll have the pheasant the lad that I'm normally working with um, well my lad he's my son came down with Covid on Friday he was supposed to be with me this week but no uh, got Covid. Seems to be alright with it, it's not too bad. I've done all my Covid tests, not got anything. I'm fine. So I just hope he's good. I'm sure he will be. And he'll be back working with us as soon as he gets over that. No rush. Just want him to get over it. But yeah, <coughs> cheers to me son, hope you get better soon son. Yeah, I'll bring you back in about 20 minutes and we'll start this pheasant. Like I say, I've got the... Um, that special mixture I make to put over it, it's quite a hot thing, I think it would go well with the pheasant. We'll just try and slowly cook that pheasant over the fire, try and keep it dry. I might even wrap some of the bacon I've got for tomorrow morning around it, just keep it a bit more moist. 
Got my arm snugly and warm, got my gloves on, got my wrap jacket on, got my wrap pants on, and I've got a beautiful fire going. So I'm loving it. Loving it, loving it, loving it. Right guys, I think these coals have burnt down enough now. So let's get the pheasant on. Um, need to build this uh, grill up. I think you've all seen this grill before. It didn't take much to put up. It's a beautiful night. Absolutely gorgeous. Got the old pokey stick. I think we're just about right with the fire there. Basis bed. Get a bit of salt on her. Coarse molden sea salt. And then the special one. Homemade rub. Let's put that, let's get that all over. Oh, that's beautiful. morning guys I've been up for quite a while now I've just reviewed the footage from last night and it all recorded in time lapse so there's a bit of wasted footage I'll still put it on you will see it um, but I've basically lost all of last night eating the pheasant I can tell you it was absolutely gorgeous. Um, <coughs> so we cooked up the pheasant. I had it. It was stunning. It really was. And I express, expressed that last night. But for some reason my camera went into 4K in time lapse. In fact, I best check this now. Yeah. Bring you back in a second. Right guys, disaster after disaster. I've just checked the footage and it's all working fine. But then my remote microphone died on me. <laughs> so you can't write this. So I'm just recording on the Osmo Action camera without an external microphone at the moment so yeah like I say most of the footage went last night I had a really comfortable sleep in the old hammock it's a bit chilly about eight o'clock in the morning now so I'm gonna get the fire on I'm gonna gonna get a nice fire going um, let's get a cup of coffee on we're going to use the Trangia, so we're going to pack up most stuff and then, yeah, we're going to get breakfast. Right guys, let's get this 
Fungi. Now, first time use. I've had a bit of a change of plan now. I'm just going to boil my water on this because I've got a fire going. Might as well cook my sausages over the fire. Instead of dirty all my pans. Cigarette lighter on this. That's it. We'll let that bloom for a couple of minutes. I don't know if you can hear the farm noises in the background, but it is farmland. Just leave that there a minute while we get the bacon and sausages on. Right then, see what we got here. Bacon. It's got mushrooms. I think I'll save them for the next strand year cook, which hopefully will be today. We just have some sausages, bacon, and a nice cup of coffee. Let's get them on the go. What's this doing? Oh, coming along nicely.
Hopefully the rain will hold off. and milk. Morrison's coffee bags. that brew for a couple of minutes First coffee of the day, always the best. That's nice coffee that. Let's get these eaten. Mmm. Smoky. It's a bit of a disaster last night without going into time lapse. Spoil it. Always somewhere in there. Caveman style. Hmm. Right. I'm going to finish this. I'm going to get packed up and get out of here. I think the rain is about to start. So I want all this packed up before we head off. taking the half day off really so put out the fire not got rid of it like you normally would without leaving a trace because this is one of the few sites where fire pits don't matter people want them there for when they come here all well, my kits tidied up I left some wood over there that I've not used for somebody else to use yeah absolute brilliant night bit here about the video last night um gonna give you a quick show round here because if you want to come and stay like i say um 12 pound a night 10 pound for firewood and basically you can go where you want do what you want absolutely fantastic i'll show you around so this is where we were hammock between these trees here I think next time I come I might even go underneath here put a hammock between that and that the ground's a lot drier around here but then there's loads 
places you can go anywhere there you can go if you chose chose to bit boggy here anywhere around here in the middle of summer it's uh, really enclosed here so here's a farmyard down there and the freaking dogs are barking all day weren't so bad last night later on See some trees have nearly come down here. Yeah, you can go anywhere there that you like. And it does go even further back up there. Around here. Beautiful mixed woodland. Quite a lot of mushrooms up here actually. A lot of beech trees. Uh, yeah, there's pine. Uh, quite a lot of birch as well. And again you can go anywhere there that you wanted. Still some snow on the ground here. Yeah, anywhere up there. Farmyard that owns the property there. We have camped up here, me and my wife actually, in a proper tent. Nice flat surface with uh, fire pits around. Like I say, you can go anywhere there. If you do come to places like this, they let you do pretty much what you want. But um, don't leave bottles hanging around. Just because you can do what you want doesn't mean you have to leave a mess. Let's see views you can get. Yeah, so you got miles of there's another woodland further down as well. Which I didn't know about, he just told me about yesterday. So yeah, thanks guys. Uh, sorry about the video last night. I hope you st I can still put a decent video together that you can enjoy. Uh, please give us a thumbs up. Please subscribe. I'm nearly at 50 subscribers. Uh, yeah, I'm going to try get and do another video tonight. And then I'm down for three days. Well, two more days after that. And I'm going to try a video a night if I can. So yeah, thanks for joining me. Cheers.